Right, welcome back to the class. Okay, so this is 3 exponent x is equal to x exponent 9. Okay, so in solving questions like this, we keep on manipulating the question until we have our final answer. Okay, so here we are going to multiply both sides, both exponents by 1 over x because of this x. Okay, now we want to eliminate this x here. So we have to multiply this exponent x by 1 over x. And then if we do that, we need to do the same thing here as well. Okay, so we are going to have 3 exponent s multiplying 1 over x. Okay, and then this x exponent 9 multiplying 1 over x. Okay, so at the end of the day, we are going to have this. Okay, and then here, so we are going to have this. Okay, so this S cancels this. Okay, so you're going to have 3 exponent 1. Okay, so you can write 3 exponent 1 or you can leave it. Okay, so you have 3. 3 exponent 1 is the same as 3. Okay, it's equal to this will give us x exponent 9 over x. Okay, now when we get to this stage, we apply another concept. Okay, a similar concept. So we want to eliminate this 9. So we introduce 1 over 9 at both sides of the exponents, okay? Or we introduce 1 over 9 here, okay? You multiply this exponent by 1 over 9, and you multiply the exponent here, which is 1, by 1 over 9, okay? So you're going to have 3, okay? Multiplying 1 over 9 is equal to, okay, you can make it, exponent 1 multiplying 1 over 9 or you can do it like this okay it's equal to x exponent 9 over x okay multiplying 1 over 9 okay so this is what you're going to have so you're going to have okay 3 exponent 1 over 9 is equal to okay x exponent 9 over x multiplying 1 over 9 okay so this 9 cancels this 9. Can you see that? So you're going to have 3 exponents 1 over 9 is equal to x, okay, exponent 1 over x. Can you see that? All right. Now here we have to manipulate this part of the equation so that we can compare it to this. Do you get me? So we know that a times 1 is still a. Did you get me? In other words, when you multiply a by 1, you still get a. Okay, so in place of a by 1, you can write a. And then in place of a, you can write a by 1. Okay, so this exponent here can be multiplied by 1. Okay, so we can say 3 exponent 1 multiplying 1 over 9. Okay, is equal to x exponent 1 over x. Okay, this 1 multiplying this 1 over 9 is the same as this 1 over 9. Okay. So it's actually the same thing, okay? Now we know that, okay, a over a is 1. Okay, so 3 over 3 will give us 1. So any number by itself gives you 1. Okay, so in place of this 1 here, we can write 3 exponent 3 over 3 multiplying 1 over 9 is equal to x exponent 1 over x. Okay, now... Let's manipulate the exponents here, okay? So we can rewrite these exponents here in another form. Okay, we can say 3 exponent 3 multiplying 1 over 3 multiplying 1 over 9, okay, is equal to x exponent 1 over x. Can you see that? All right, so we are going to have 3 exponent 3 multiplying this 1 by this 1 gives you 1. Okay, this 3 by this gives you 27. Okay, can you see that? It's equal to x exponent 1 over x. Okay, now let's introduce a rule of indices here. Okay, we know that if you're having a exponent b multiplying c, this is the same as a exponent c multiplying b. Okay, and this is the same as a multiplying b and then c. Or a exponent b multiplying c. Okay. Okay, and this is also the same as, okay, it's the same as A exponent C multiplying B. 
do you get me now let's apply this concept here do you get me so we can say that three okay let's put in three okay okay so let's put in three here is multiplying one over 27 also an exponent is equal to x exponent one over x can you see that all right so this is what you have okay so three exponent three is going to give you 27 okay so you're going to have 27 exponent one over 27 is equal to x exponent one over x okay so here we are going to compare so you can see this is the same as this the number here is equal to is the number here is the same as the number here what is on top of the number here is one okay so we are going to compare this to this so if you compare you can see the number here is equal to the number here what is on top of what is on top of the number here is one so we can say x is equal to 27 